This lady phoned in, I think the week before, and I overheard Shereen speaking to her and said, yes, no, we believe in miracles in our church. Yes, we do pray for the sick. Yes, uh, but this Sunday we're having a pool meeting. Why don't you come and bring your grandson? So here it is. She was not able to bring the grandson, but here it is. Are you, are you listening? Let's just pray. <clears throat> oh, no, here it is. My grandson, Luke 3, was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy. Medically speaking, there's no cure for this as their muscles break down. The breaking down of the muscles are normal, but instead of being replaced with more muscle tissue, it's replaced with fibrous tissue instead of new muscle tissue. As this disease progresses, their muscles weaken so that by the age of 12 on average, they're in wheelchairs and may be able to walk with calipers and or crutches. And um, death is early, um, like in the early 20s. That's muscular dystrophy. You prophesied and said words to the effect of, people said you were going to die, and that's not true. You are not going to die. I took this to be directly for Luke, and so did Herod, my husband. I am happy to report. Come back next week. For the, I am happy to report that Luke walked up the stairs today unaided. Yes. Using alternate legs instead of holding onto the wall or someone's hand and leading with the left foot up always, as this was his stronger leg. He used alternate legs. His mother also reported that he jumped about 10 centimeters straight up in the air. God's word is so true, and he's true to his word. Amen. Isn't that awesome? Amen. Isn't that awesome? Yes. <laughs> Tell the person next to you, say, you're not going to die, you're going to live. Diagnosed with muscular dystrophy and they say his heart is only working 60% of the capacity. You've got a nose there too. And you've also got a heart that's working perfectly. 100%. 100%. And then no muscular dystrophy. Father, I speak perfection over this little boy in the name of the Lord Jesus. I say you will grow, you will develop normally, you'll be a strong strapping lad, you'll play sport, you'll be well and healed in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I thank you for it, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, you will recover and be well. That's my declaration in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Come, buddy. Come, buddy. There's it. Bless you. Bless you. That thing goes in the name of the Lord Jesus. Not the whole pinky, Father. Just that little thing there. Amen. Father, and just a joint pain. Lord, let it just go right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I want to thank you. And God says, your heart of compassion is what I've been looking for. And God says, you will touch and heal the sick as you have desired. It's something that, that is uh, like a high priority for you. And so the Lord says, that's the kingdom. And you'll go about doing good and healing those under the power of the devil. So with these hands being healed, you will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So be perfected. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Good day. I've got Sydney standing next to me, and God did something really amazing for her at one of our pool meetings. Sydney, please share with us. Um, I came here for the first time, and there was a pool, which was quite a surprise to me. And um, the prophet gave a word of knowledge that people with bone conditions uh, can walk through the pool first. And so... Um, I walked through and he prayed for me and uh, what the problem was was that I had hip pains um, when I s slept at night. Um, the pain got so bad that I would have to turn over or lie on my back. Yes. Okay. And uh, since the prayer I've not had that anymore. Wow. So, wow. So all the, all the pain is gone right now, it's completely, so you sleep quite well at night? Yes, yes, lovely, like a young girl, <laughs> yes. Well, God is a God of healing and miracles, and what would you like to share with the people out there that's also having kind of hip problems, and it's trusting God for healing? 
just that uh, believe in God, have faith in God, have faith in Jesus. Jesus did the work on the cross so that we can receive that healing. Amen. Thank you, Sydney.